Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Aubrey, your humble hostess from Evernet Gaming. And welcome back to content on the channel, hopefully. It's been a crazy couple of weeks. Um, I'm preparing to move back to college. I got my brand new Rode mic stand and my shock mount and my pot filter, so hopefully the content of the audio sounds a little bit better. I am getting a little sick. I think I'm a little stopped up, so I do apologize for that. So welcome to Don't Starve. Don't Starve is a game made by Clay Entertainment. They are also the people who made Don't Starve Together, Don't Starve Shipwrecked, and as you can see here on the left, um, Oxygen Not Included, which is a game I definitely want to play because it looks fun as hell. Basically, you're managing these uh, duplicants, I believe they're called, and basically these are just templates of people. They, they basically uploaded these people to a cloud and they just give you templates, which is so weird. But we're gonna be going into Don't Starve today. We're gonna be going into Reign of the Giants, which is the DLC they made for Don't Starve, uh, the standalone. I am gonna go with a random character. Yeah, random. And the only thing I changed was I wanted to make the world size a bit bigger for our first playthrough. And let's get into it. So I don't know. Generating a keen sense of despair. Hurting nyctophobia. No! <laughs> oh god. If you don't know what nyctophobia is, um, nyctophobia is an extreme fear of what is in the dark. Hello, Maxwell. Oh, look at him being so helpful. Better find food! And we got spawned in his Wilson. That's not bad. Wilson has a lot of, um, up here you have your time of day. When this gets to red, it goes to dusk. When it gets to blue, you have to have a light source or else you're gonna get eaten alive by the demon ghost that hides in the darkness. Here you have your food, your health, your sanity. Now the nice thing about Wilson is he does start out with a high, high, I think he has the highest amount of sanity? Possibly? But the main goals are you want to keep yourself fed and you want to keep yourself sane. Because if you go insane, you start having shit happen. Like you'll have creeping hands that'll come out during the nighttime and try and stamp out your fire. And when you reach critical sanity, you start having hallucinations that are actually real and will try and kill you. Which is no good. It's no good. So these little trees here are not from the base game. These are birch nut trees. And when they... So trees can turn into tree guards, if you don't know. I'm going to be coming off the basis that the people watching this video may not know. What I'm talking about, so for those of you long-time Don't Starve players, do forgive me, but I just like to get the formalities out of the way of what I'm doing. Right now, I'm just collecting saplings and flint to try and make an axe and a sh not a shovel. Axe and a pickaxe. And I only got a limited amount of time to record this, so there is a, a lady coming to drop off something, so I'm going to try and get the recording done before then. 30 minutes. Ought to be easy enough, so I'm trying to gather flowers to make a garland because a garland helps keep your sanity up. Up, 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 up. I can finally do that and not have pops. Yay! <laughs> so, day one, what you want to do is you generally want to gather and you want to scout out the surrounding locations and kind of find your way around. Uh, I really should have stuck with the original video that I was going to do because the last save I got really lucky. I found a touchstone and I found Chester and all kinds of good stuff. Hopefully hopefully we find Chester in this video. Uh, if not in this series. I'm hoping to make this into a series. Lots of fun. Fun times ahead. Um... It, it's been a crazy couple of weeks, because I'm going down this weekend to take stuff down to my residence, and then next week I'm actually moving in a week ahead of everyone else, so that hopefully I can make a few videos, kind of test out the surroundings, um, you know, maybe move the desk around and see what works, things like that. Now right, we can make a garland. Oh, straw hat. Oh, yeah, 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 because, um, Reign of the Giants adds in rain, I think? And, like, your food can get soggy and your clothing can get soggy and it kind of makes it weaker. Holy shit! Okay, there's a skeleton. He's got some grass. That's nice. And he also had a trap. Had a weak trap. Better you than me. Damn, that's Dark Wilson. Hang on. I love that. I love how they have, like, um... The instruments for the voicing. I love that. Oh, jeez. Uh, so, it's about midday... Hey. 
explored. Pretty linear. Hmm. Shit. This, this might be bad, because in Reign of the Giants, there's a giant for each season. So you'll have, like, the dragonfly, who is... She's all about flames and burning down, like, trees and stuff, which is detrimental as hell if you have, like, a tree farm in your base. But she only shows up around summertime, and there's one for spring, there's one for winter, there's one for autumn and summer. It adds to the game, and adds a bunch of other stuff, like these birch nut trees, and... You're not new. Get the hell away from my berries. Get out! Get out! Get out! No, I'm not gonna chase it. It's pointless. We did find a road, though. Damn, this is a really linear path we're going down. I'm not used to this, Sidna. Don't starve. No, it is getting late. Well, oh, crap. So now we're entering the dusk phase. If we don't have a light source up by the time and that little arrow hits that blue, we're gonna get attacked. And we're gonna get hit for a lot of health, and eventually whatever's in the dark will kill us. And this game plays on nyctophobia real bad. <laughs> I have a pickaxe? I do. And there's a gold stone. We need some gold. We need gold to further ourselves. Yeah, yeah, get some rocks and some gold. Now, I think tall birds might be in this area. And if there are tall birds in this vicinity, I'd like to know about it. Melted mini glacier. Won't be useful until it freezes again. Huh. Oh yeah, because you can eat ice, can't you? Shit, I didn't think about that. So, in the original game, what you had to worry about really only was winter, because winter was grueling, freezing temperatures, and you could die easily if you weren't prepared. Um, kind of like how Oxygen Not Included started, where the main setup was you would just have your, your duplicates always be sick, so they would... Uh, they would vomit, and what the hell? Oh, shit! It's a mandrake! Forget that oxygen not included thing! Hey, little buddy! Oh, I've never seen a mandrake in this game before! I just noticed what time it is! <laughs> Out of place, just... Okay, that tree scared me. <laughs> that tree scared me. I got scared by a tree. So your main goal starting out is you want to, like I said, find a place to build. You also want to prepare weapons and armor. And how you do that is... Shit. Torch! Oh! Some, let's see. Turn this tree down, please. Holy God, Al! I don't know if I want to put... Am I going to like a thing up or if I just want to wander around with a torch for the night? I kind of want to explore a lot. Oh, is that risky though? I hear spiders. I hear spiders. I see spiders. Hello. <laughs> I'll take it back. I'm sorry, spiders. I'm sorry. Go away. I don't know where I'm going. I saw a spider to my left. And there's marble. I hear beefalo. Beefalo? Beefalo! Hello! I like your poop. Thank you, beefalo. I usually don't take that much to build, actually. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do this for the night. I'm gonna <laughs> run around with a torch like an idiot. Oh, God. Oh, beefalo. Uh-uh. I'm not gonna attack tonight. No, thank you. There's two marble trees over there. That's not bad. Hello, beefalo. Now, I don't want to build right next to the beefalo, because they can go into heat, and when they go into heat, shit gets a little dangerous. Uh... Yeah, so. Look at all these evergreens. My god. Oh, there's a ton of spiders up here. Oh, there's a ton of spiders! Oh, no! I'm not building up here. I've already explored. Pretty linear path. It's not going to be any less linear if you don't keep going straight. 
I got really off track really quickly. So let's go back to that previous thought of... What? Oh, that's just normal grass. Okay, never mind. <laughs> oh. So what you would generally do is you would build up thermal stones, and you would build up campfire, and you would have a lot of wood, and you would try and survive through the winter, and you would, you know, you'd have to go out and scavenge, you'd have to, you'd have to put on warm clothing and carry thermal stones so your character didn't freeze it out. Now, you also have to do the complete opposite, where you try and strip down as much clothes as you can, you wear, like, um, straw hats to keep the sun off of you, because you can die of heat stroke, starvation, and freezing to death in this game. Lovely, right? And that's just environmental deaths. Don't even get me started on the damn tall birds or the, or the giants that I've never seen before. Or Krampus. He, he's a nasty one as well. I don't know exactly what Krampus does, but I know if you kill cute animals in this game, it increases your naughtiness meter, as they call it, and if you get too naughty, you summon in um, Krampus, which is like the sadistic, twisted version or twisted accompaniment of Saint Nick, who would tag and bag children who were naughty and take them to hell. Lovely, right? Oh, jeez. So, I say... Uh, we'll go for another night, and I'll probably call it an episode. How's our girl been doing? Not bad. Oh, hello, wormhole. Do we do it? We do it. We do it. We haven't set up a base yet, so let's go in the wormhole. Where am I? That was not a sane thing to do. No! No, it was not! <laughs> Investigate a suspicious... <gasps> Hey now. Oh, we are in the desert desert. Oh shit. Okay, that's where that wormhole goes. I just noticed Wilson's health. Or hunger. Eat some eat some carrots and eat a couple of berries, friend. Oh, I need to pay more attention to that. The nice thing about Don't Starve though is as you fail, which you will, the game can guarantee you will fail. You unlock more characters the more you progress. Tumbleweed, hello. Oh, gears? What the fuck? What? Okay. Eat, eat the seeds. Dude, what else do you have? Silk? Shit. Nice. Okay, maybe this place isn't bad after all. Let's see where this goes. And then we'll set up a base at night. We'll set up like a small campfire and then we'll start off uh, in next episode finding a permanent base unless I find one in this one. Hopefully we do. I just don't want to build right next to the ocean because of the... Um, the penguins in the wintertime. They will actually come out of the ocean and they can be quite fickle. Which is if you accidentally even attack them once, the entire pack will come and attack you. <laughs> Which... Usually this is like five to six, so probably not the best idea. Also, I'm not going to be investigating these suspicious dirt piles because uh, there's a chance there's a warg. And I don't want to fight no wargs. So we're cutting our way back. How much sanity does that cost us going through that wormhole? Not much. Unless it changes so it costs you health and not sanity. Oh, go away, spider. Oh, go away, spider. Ah, go away, spider. <laughs> He's got speed! Ah! Equip my torch so I can see where I'm going. Now, does it actually look... Okay, that wasn't a giant. Oh, evil flowers. No, get away from me. What do you use evil flowers for? I know I'm gonna get probably lit up in the comments for not knowing what half this shit is, and I apologize, but I haven't played Don't Starve in forever. Oh god. Oh god. Hi. hi. Oh god, hi. Run. I hear the Rook Knight moving. Run. Run. 
Run! I don't want to. I don't want to screw around with that castle thing. Oh God! Run! 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 Oh! Oh! What are you? You're adorable! Oh, it's a cat coon! Hello! Oh, you're a cutie! It attacks birds. Oh, that's adorable. I want one. Give me. <laughs> Actually, we're not that far from uh, where... Yeah, this like links up to it, isn't it? Yeah, nice. I think we're going to build a base down here by the cat coon, honestly. Right here in this nice open area? I like the idea of this right here. This is where everything goes horribly wrong and I build in the wrong place. You know? I know. I know I'm failing at this. Don't, don't tell me. <laughs> I already know. I need to get some wood. I never know what to talk about in these videos. Like, I think I'm doing okay. I hope. Uh, put another log on the fire. Although, we're putting grass, so. Gotta be in a log. Because I need this grass. I need this log. Oh, God, I thought you were something else. Build a science machine. Hello. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? Oh, he's leaving. No, come back. He's so cute. So having a science machine unlocks a ton of shit for you. Uh, we can make log suits now. Protects you from some damage. Provides a small amount of protection. Protects your brain case. Sleek darts. Blow darts. Boomerangs. Tooth traps. Bee mines. Weaponized bees. What could go wrong? I can think of a few things. <laughs> we can also refine some of our grass and a rope. Don't you even think about it. He's so cute! I don't know what you are, though. God, it's gonna bug me. <laughs> Alright, well, day three. Um, didn't really do a lot, though, did we? I'm gonna feed up Wilson a bit. <sighs> we didn't do much, but, you know, that doesn't matter. It's the first episode of a new series. I am gonna be, I would like to say, continuing the Subnautica series when I find something worth doing. Which is to say, I haven't made that video. So what I've decided I'm going to do is um, I'm going to take all the current videos that I haven't done yet, like my PvP Prestige video, uh, one of my Doom videos, and my Subnautica video, and I'm just going to use like the, the video clips, but I'm not going to do the audio because I really hate how the audio sounds. And compared to this, I mean, here, look, I'll show you the back end of this. This is my audio recording, right? Look here. This used to be full of, like, static noise and bumping. Now, nothing. Honestly, this was a long overdue treat to myself, and going into a college course where I'm constantly doing radio stuff, probably a good idea to have this kind of a setup anyways. Anywho! The crows are gathering. Oh god! <laughs> the crows are gathering! <laughs> Okay, shoot crows, get out of here! I'm scared of crows, get away! Oh god, I'm being an idiot. Anyways, if you like the video, please, I encourage you to like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more of this gaming and awesomeness. I have been your humble host, Aubrey from FNF Gaming, and me and Wilson will catch you all in the next episode. Hope you all have... what is today? Wednesday. I hope y'all have a great weekend and a great rest of the week, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.